Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going over how to program in a 5800 combo to the Lyric Alarm system. So the 5800 combo is a combo detector that does both smoke heat and CO detector and it also has the option to do freeze detection. What that does is if it, the temperatures reach below 41 degrees Fahrenheit, the sensor will actually send a freeze detection trouble over to the panel. So first thing we want to go ahead and make sure is that the Lyric system is going to be in programming mode. So to do this, hit you hit if we're at the home screen on the Lyric system, you go to security, you go to tools, and after you go to tools, it's going to ask you to enter in and it's going to ask you to enter in a code. You want to make sure that you use your installer code. My panel is defaulted right now, so it's actually 4112. Yours could possibly be different if you or your monitoring company has changed it. So you want to make sure you hit tools, my installer code. Then we go over to program. And keep in mind, if you guys enter in the code and you're not taken to that same exact screen, that's because you must not be using the correct code. The installer code takes you to that same exact screen. If you're taken to any other screen other than that, then you're not using the correct code and you need to get the correct installer code to get it. All right. So now that we're in the system programming menu, we make our way over to zones. Now, the 5800 combo, remember I said it does smoke heat, it does CO, it does freeze detection. There's also two other things that it does if you use loop two on the smoke or CO. Loop two on the smoke will actually have a maintenance trouble and then loop two for the CO will have an end of life. So whenever the, whenever the sensor needs to be replaced, it'll actually notify the panel, which will then notify you to replace the sensor. Now, we're gonna learn in three of the, sen three of the zones today. We're gonna do smoke, smoke and heat, we're gonna do CO, and we're gonna do freeze. All right, so the first one I'm gonna go ahead and do is the smoke, I hit add new, and I go to serial number. Now, when you go to enter in the serial number, you would normally think, or normally what you would do with the sensors is you would fault them or you would press a button and the serial number would automatically learn in and populate into the screen as well as the loop. However, for this one, when I press these buttons, it actually just goes into the test mode, gives you the battery life, etc., all the other settings. It lets you know whether the sensor is okay. So what we actually have to do is we have to take this back plate off. Yeah, if you see here, there's actually a close and there's an open. Close is clockwise, open is counterclockwise. So we just need to twist it counterclockwise, the cover falls off, and on that back there's a sticker there that's gonna have the serial number for both the smoke and for the CO. That's the thing, one little thing that you guys should realize, the smoke and CO serial numbers are one digit difference, yeah? So they both have the first same few numbers, but the last digit the CO is one digit higher than that of the smoke. So I'll, you, you'll get a zoom in of this in just a second. And uh, after you've figured out which one you wanna do, I'm doing a smoke for my first one. So I'm gonna enter in my smoke serial number. So mine is 0007195, 0007195. You just confirm. All right, you hit done. For the loop number, you wanna make sure you leave it as one if you're gonna be doing smoke and heat. For the zone description, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the living room. So I'll type in, whoops, sorry, it had right there. So you notice as I started typing, it actually gave me a couple of suggestions. You guys, if you just keep typing, it'll skip past those suggestions. So if I want a living room, I went ahead and typed in living and then it gave me the option to do living room. If you guys are doing custom ones, keep in mind if they're not coming up in the um, vocabulary, the system won't actually enunciate it. So they do have to be words in the vocabulary dictionary of the system in order for the system to enunciate these zones. So I have mine set to a living room. For the device type, <coughs> whoops, sorry, I'm gonna hit the cancel. For the device type, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to a smoke detector. The response type, it gives you the options of fire no verification or fire with verification. What the fire no verification does is that if this smoke chamber here fills up with smoke, the sensor immediately sends the signal over to the panel. 
fire with verification, what that does, smoke fills up the chamber. This actually comes in handy if you're installing this in a kitchen and you're cooking and the smoke from the pan goes up to the detector. If it's a false smoke, obviously, then the system, what it does is it detects the smoke, it detects the smoke in the chamber and then you have 30 seconds until the sensor checks again to see if the smoke is still in there. If the smoke is still there, it then sends the smoke signal over to the panel. So if you're doing this in a kitchen, you may want to set this to a fire with verification as sometimes when you're cooking, it, there is a lot of smoke that can come up from the pans. So I'm, like I, if you saw in the description, I actually have this in the living room. So I'm going to do it as fire, no verification. Alarm report, you want to make sure you set that to yes, especially if you're being monitored by central station. If you set that to no, whenever this smoke where whenever the sensor goes off for that zone, it will not report. Hence, alarm report. You want to make sure it's set to yes. Supervision, you want to make sure that's also set to supervised. The other option would be unsupervised. So supervised is basically going to let you know whenever the system has a low battery, whenever it's been tampered with, etc. And most important thing is after you have all of this done, you want to make sure you hit save. Yes, so now I have my living room smoke detector. Let's go ahead and do the seal detector now. So remember, you hit add new, or you can choose whatever zone you want. I'll go ahead and do add new. And uh, again, go into the serial number field. Serial number. And now you have to use the second serial number, which remember is just one digit higher than the, than the smoke one. So mine is actually 00007196. 000 7196. One nine six. I hit done. I'm gonna leave it as loop one because I am used. I am doing seal detector, so I'm leaving it as loop one. Zone description. Since my smoke was in the living room, that means the CO must be in the living room as well. So I'll type in. Whoops! I missed the letter I. All right, type in living room, device type. This is where you're gonna switch it to carbon monoxide detector. The response type automatically gets set to carbon monoxide. Alarm report, again, make sure that's set to yes. And supervise, make sure it's set to yes. And you hit save. And then the last one I'm gonna do is gonna be the freeze detection, which remember it uses the smoke serial number. So I hit add new, serial number 000711. Nine five. Let me just confirm that is correct. I hit done. The loop number to make it a freeze detection. This is where you need to switch the loop number to loop three. So my loop is set to three. I'm going to go ahead and type in instead of living room, since this is going to be freeze detection, I'll type in freeze. For the device type, I'm going to go ahead and set it to temperature. It automatically sets the response type to a 24 hour auxiliary. The alarm report, if you wanted to report to the central station, you can. Remember, this is just a freeze detection, so it's not like the central station is uh, gonna call the authorities or the fire department or anything like that, but you can always have them call you if you'd like. So if you want them to call you whenever the system uh, detects a freeze signal, you can go ahead and leave the alarm report to yes. If you don't really care for the central station calling you, you can always just tap to no. I'll leave it as just as yes, just in case. And supervise, make sure you leave it as supervise. You hit save. Now I have my CL smoke and freeze. You wanna make sure you go ahead and put the back cover on because if you exit while the back cover is off, your system will probably go into a tamper. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Remember to put it on, you just place it and then you twist it clockwise and it locks into place. Hit the back arrow key all the way out to the home screen. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the tamper on it. I twist it counterclockwise, I take the cover off, and then the system should go into a tamper for all three zones. Tamper living room, tamper freeze. So it should have three, four, and five. Three, four, five. If you want to make the system quiet down, tap a button, 
Now, remember, to clear a tamper, you actually have to fix the issue first. So if the back plate was off, twist it back on. My tamper is good. And uh, now I'm at the screen. If you're at this screen right here, if you just tap the home button, it'll, whoop, if you tap it twice, actually, it'll bring up the keypad for you to enter in your code and to clear the trouble. I enter in my master code. You can use any user code. And you have to do that twice. So again, I tap the home. And I tap it one more time. Remember, it's two taps. And then master code. And then the system will go into a ready to arm. Now, remember the two buttons I showed you earlier, the smoke test and the CL test? The smoke test button is going to set off a smoke test for the panel, and the CL test will set off the CL. Now, it's very important that if you're doing this to send the signals down to the central station, you want to make sure you call your central station first to place your system on test, especially if you're doing CO. All right? So you call your central station, you place your account on test, let them know that you're going to be testing smoke, fire, and CO. And um, once your account is on test, you simply just press and release one of the buttons, and it'll send the signal. I'll do the smoke one first. Smoke sensor is good. Battery life is at least 12 months. The alarm will now sound in five seconds. Press test to cancel. After my alarm goes off, I'm going to go ahead and disarm it because it's going to get loud. See, it's fire. And then you want to make sure you disarm twice. Yeah, so there's a disarm button right here. Enter in your master code or user code, and it goes back into ready to arm. Same thing with the CO. You press and release. CO sensor is good. Remaining sensor life is at least 12 months. Battery life is at least 12 months. The alarm will now sound in five seconds. Press test to cancel. Again, when the alarm sounds, it sends the signal immediately. You then disarm the system. You disarm it once, and then you disarm it twice. Remember, there's two ways of getting to that keypad to disarm. You can either, like the first time when I did the fire, there was a disarm button on the actual screen right here. Or if you um, press the home button twice while the system is in alarm mode, it'll bring up the keypad and you can actually just type in or punch in your code through there as well. So that was uh, the easiest way to test smoke seal. And then for freeze, you can either throw the sensor into the freezer. You can actually, another thing you can do is just Grab a Ziploc bag of ice, put the Ziploc bag on top of the uh, sensor, and then once the sensor gets cold enough, if you want to make sure that it's reporting the freeze detection correctly, you just have to wait a couple of minutes. The sensor will cool, and then it'll send the freeze signal over to the panel. Um, and yeah, that is just the quick video on how to program in the smoke or the 5800 combo into the Lyric panel. Um, and uh, you, also, you also found out how to test it. So make sure that you guys, if you have any more questions, you email us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys are notified. I'm George. I'll see you guys next time.